Hi pals, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Bordeaux. I am currently in Bordeaux with Caudalie and we are at their beautiful Les Sorcerers, Les Sorcerers de Caudalie. I don't know how to say it, I'm so sorry, but it's their beautiful, beautiful um, spa and hotel here in Bordeaux. And we have been here at the end of our kind of European little fun trip. We were in Mallorca, which you guys will have seen. And then we came here to Bordeaux, France, with Caudalie for a couple of nights, and it has been positively magical. But I wanted to show you guys the makeup that I have been wearing on the trip, the makeup that I have been donning, the makeup I packed with me. It's very simple makeup using a lot of products that I've been using lately, but ask and you shall receive. This is what I'm gonna show you guys. I'll show you everything I packed and what I've been doing on my face. I'm getting ready for dinner right now. We're gonna head out, I'm gonna put a face on and uh, it's going to be the makeup I have been donning. Um, I'm gonna start with a face cream because I'm so dry, I'm so dry. <laughs> All the sun is, is drying the crap out of my skin. This is the Caudalie Venusaurus, as well as Hydration Intense. This I packed with me and I have been using on the entire trip. This was not just because this was a Caudalie trip. They gifted me a butt ton of products, whatever. It's been fantastic. And for those of you who are looking for a product, if you want a somewhat budget, I think it's an amazing option to be able to use day and night. It is very, very thick, very, very hydrating. Um, I don't know how those of you with oily skin would get on with it, but if you have dry, very, very dry parched skin, it has been fantastic. So I'm putting that on. I'm gonna take a little skirt of my Smashbox Primerizer. This is the little mini travel size one. It's the size of my thumb. Um, I don't know where I got this. I'm pretty sure I bought it. But if I didn't buy it, then it was a 100 point perk, which doesn't make sense. I feel like I had to have purchased that. I don't remember, honestly. But I'm just gonna pat that over my skin. And then I'm taking the NYX Bear with me primer. This one I love, it always shocks me. It always just falls out every single time. This one I love because it's just super, super bronzy. Very glowy and it smells good. I feel, I find myself smelling it every time I apply it, but it feels, feels fantastic. And it's a really, really thick, nice layer, but look at that glow. It's like intense glow that it gives on the skin. It is positively divine. Now for the base, I actually, I packed multiple bases. The one I've been using mostly on a daily basis since we've been here is the Westman Atelier foundation stick. And I've been using this, sorry, it's the Vital Skin foundation stick. <clears throat> and if you guys watched those videos where I reviewed the Westman Atelier products and then I did the, the follow-up, the roundup review on them, I'm, I'm not like, magically impressed with these simply due to the price it's the same kind of feeling i have with the pat mcgrath foundation it looks beautiful and i'm wearing it but i i feel this like guilty conscience of needing to tell you guys that it's it's not exceptionally worth the price you know but because i did spend dollar dollar bills y'all on it i'm going to use it i'm going to use it so i have been you know using this in its entirety because i feel like i need to get my dollars worth of it and it and it is beautiful and i know a lot of you guys on that video where i reviewed this commented on the skincare benefits and whatnot for it and i do think that if you are looking for something that is going to do that you're really paying attention to the ingredients in your products you're not looking for a drugstore dupe you want to spend good money on good products that are benefiting your skin as well then obviously do your thing little mama spend your money as you wish but i i, I feel like i must just note the the price of things and I know I use a lot of expensive makeup. So you're probably wondering why I'm choosing to, you know, poke a select few out, but I think it's just when new brands come out, people like myself included are like, ooh, ooh, new, shiny, new, but it's also just not necessary to spend that kind of money on products if you already have products that you think are beautiful. So anyway, I do think this is lovely. I think it gives such a natural finish to the skin. It has a really nice soft touch to it. It's like the feeling of a stick foundation, but the look, of a tinted moisturizer. That's the best way I can describe this. I really have been enjoying it. I have the shade three in that. And that's what I brought with me on this trip as well as the Laura Mercier Illuminating Tinted Moisturizer. So I've been wearing that. Now I'm gonna take my RMS on cover up and use this one underneath the eyes. And I actually have a lot of pesky spots right now. So I am gonna use quite a bit of concealer because that was my atelier one is very very light coverage so i'm just taking that with that rms 
underneath the eyes to brighten it up where I'm a little bit more dry. And then I actually brought two concealers because I just buy packs so much makeup on this look. I went to play. I brought the Surratt concealer palette as well as my NARS soft matte concealer. And what I'm going to do is grab a brush and I'm just mixing these two shades together. I have this in the shade three. I do have a little bit of a, a tint from the travels here. And the reason why I'm using this is because I'm super greasy and super sweaty. The RMS one just kind of disappears a little bit. Um, that's why I've just been using it strictly underneath the eyes, but I kind of just go over with the brush. So I'll put a little bit of that Surratt just around these patches of redness. This is completely unnecessary. Use one concealer as you wish. I find that just the more you play and the more products you have, the more you find uses for multiple different things on your face all at one time. <laughs> and then I'm just taking a little bit of the, the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer kind of around the perimeter of my face and also on this one spot because this one won't budge. The Surratt and the RMS ones are a little bit more creamy and I'm just going to kind of put this around my face where I touch my face a lot and also on spots. That's pretty much the plan here. So I'm just blending that in with a foundation brush as well as my finger. I touch my chin so much, so I'm just putting a little bit more coverage there. Yeah, five million products later, <laughs> my face is a lot more white than my body right now. Yeah, I pretty much packed all those different concealers because I didn't know what shade I would be by the end of this trip and apparently I need something uh, even darker, so. There we are. It's okay, we shall use bronzer to deepen it up. I am gonna take a little bit of powder. This is my Travel Size Cover FX Press Powder that I always bring with me when I am traveling. That's not true, that's not always, but I do when I'm being mindful of space as I pack five million other makeup products, but you know what I mean. I'm just putting a little bit of powder basically over that RMS concealer because that does budge a lot and just a little bit down through my T-zone. I get super, super oily and sweaty in those areas, so I'm just packing that around, a little dust of that. Then speaking of overpriced products, you guys already know my thoughts on this. I picked this up, I used it in a recent video. This is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate. There are a million other cream products. Even sold at Sephora, that would be half the price. You could buy an entire cream contour palette and have six to eight different shades and it would still only be half the price of this. So again, I did purchase it and that is why I'm using it. I wanna get my wear out of it and use out of the product, but there are many other cream products that I love and use equally, even the um, a cream bronzer, a stick bronzer, the nude sticks bronzer, the milk makeup bronzer, all of these are dupes of this product and give the same effect if you use it as a contour and quite frankly I've pretty much only been using the contour shade because I find this one to be a little bit too uh, light on my fresh tan here so I'm only using the contour shade and you could very well use a cream bronzer in place of that so anyway I'm using that to shape and sculpt my face like so then I have been using the RMS Magic Luminizer and I've kind of been dipping into this because I am convinced that my one is kind of getting old. So I'm making sure to really warm it up on my finger and on the back of my hand before pressing it into the skin. And I like this because it is just a very true golden champagne. They have a few uh, deeper ones that I haven't actually tried, one that's a little bit more peachy. They also have a, a quad palette of all four of their luminizers. There might be more luminizers, I don't know. It's a quad of four of their luminizers and it looks beautiful too. If you don't want to have such a such a big pot of one product, you can buy their palette and you know mix and match as you wish. And I think that's a great way to try the RMS luminizing products. So then the blush I've been using, ooh, Natasha Harper, very charming cheek tint. It's so beautiful. A lot of you guys have been asking me in multiple places what blush I've been using, and this is it. I've been using it with the Elf Stipple brush, and I do think it just gives the most beautiful flush. I packed my Nude Stick Sunset Strip, which I thought I would I would use a lot more on a vacation setting, but I honestly love the, the freshness that this bright pink gives to the face. It's really, really pretty. I've been blabbing on about it for, for, I feel like at least a year now. I don't know how long it's been 
definitely since the winter for sure. So yeah, just pressing that along. I think it's a very, very lovely, lovely cheek color. And it is au naturel as well. And then something I've been doing a little bit differently, kind of in place of using a powder all over my face, I've been taking my bronzer, my powder bronzer. I packed the Lila B bronzer because I do love this. It's a gorgeous shimmer bronzer. I've been using it forever. I have completely destroyed the packaging with its use. <laughs> this has seen so much love and I'm pretty much just continuing trying to use it up. You know, a little mini project pan action going on with this, but I've been using this across my face, kind of setting in that cream powder and, and using a bronzer as a last step to kind of shimmer everything up and, and warm up the face. Just putting that, and obviously taking an eyeshadow brush and just using that on the eyelids as well. I posted a story uh, when we first got to Bordeaux the first night. I had my hair in a really slicked bun and an off the shoulder top and I looked so glowy in that video and this is the exact makeup I wore in that Instagram video. It was just super super hot and we had gone for a little mini stroll and I was positively sweating. So it was this makeup look paired with sweat and that's what made that glow happen for those of you who were wondering what I was wearing in that. I guess it's the exact same process that I was wearing that evening. Yeah, so just a little bit of bronzer and then I'm gonna take the Rowan Summer Disco. This is beautiful. Such a gorgeous shimmery topper. It's very, very subtle. It's kind of, like it's got like a little bit more of a spaced out glitter. Like it's not like a Dior Meteor where it's like a creamy glitter topper. This is almost like there's little chunks of glitter that catch the light as you move your eye. It's not so intensely all over the lip, but I do think it's very, very beautiful and a lot more subtle. So it's nice for kind of vacation or lighter makeup. I've got some super red eyes. I've been sneezing. Oh my God, I even feel it right now. I've been sneezing so much. I think it just might be all this nature, these farm fields and the vineyards and all these scents that my nose isn't used to. I am just like sneezing. I'm a little bit red in the face and I'm going to use this uh, Rue Bonaparte NARS liner to brighten up my waterline a little bit, help take some of the redness away, SOS. There we go. I'm bright and awake again. And then taking the Marc Jacobs highliner in the shade Brownie, I've used this so many times, so many times. And I'm gonna do a little Liner. I might need to grab a close-up mirror. We'll see if I can if I can do it far away here. But I'm taking that all across the lash line, and then I go in with my Mac 208 brush, which they've now changed. R.I.P. All good things come to an end, apparently. I kind of use that to just buff out the product and create a little wing. And I love how this pigment kind of um, blends out. It doesn't stay harsh and, and as quite of a deep brown. It really blends out very nicely into a more sheer liner. So it's kind of like, is it there? Is it not? I'm not really sure, but it's intensifying the lash line. Without being too much of a thick liner, so if you're scared of liner like I am, this is an amazing tip for you. I've been doing this for years. This is just something I will do time and time again, and if people are like, you do the same makeup look all the time, this will never stop. I will never stop doing a, a faux liner. It's just my go-to, and it is so easy, and it's Woolproof, and I'll keep doing it until everyone in the world does it. Just kidding, that was aggressive, but you know. Anyway. Cool. A little liner. All right, and then the Tom Ford Badass Black Mascara. Just a little bit of this. I do think that this mascara is starting to go off because it has that really fragrant smell. This could also be <laughs> not helping the redness in my eyes right now, but when a mascara starts to go off, it starts to have a, a pretty particular smell and you kind of like feel it on your eyeballs as you're applying it. And that's what's starting to happen with this. All right, beautiful. Okay, then for brows. This is the sponsored portion of this video. Thank you so much to Benefit. I'm using my beloved, precisely, my brow pencil. And you guys know I've been using this for ever on repeat. 
I love this thing. Super fine tip. It's got an amazing spoolie. It's very creamy. It's got many, many shades in the range. So I find that this one, shade two, is the perfect match for me. And it just lasts all day. It's much proof. Waterproof, all that good stuff. Perfect for the, the sweaty land. And when I'm getting ready for dinner and I'm not being lazy and I'm actually gonna fill in my brows, this is parfait. Fill them in, fill them in, ding. I wonder, I'd love to go back and actually count how many of these I've gone through because I feel like I've, <laughs> I wonder how many of them I've actually used up over the years. It's so good. I like that it, it's just the perfect match for my brow hairs and I like when it's a fine tip because I can be very, well, precise with the precisely my brow pencil. Take my brush and flick it away and voila. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's benefit. <laughs> And then I'll just take a little bit of the Gimme Brow, the Benefit Gimme Brow, which the label has all but <laughs> rubbed off, I think. <laughs> I've used this so much. This one just adds the fibers on the hairs while setting it in. I saw, oh, who was it? Oh my gosh, if you guys follow Pia, Pia Barancini, I don't know how to say, I don't know if she's changing her name, she just got married. Anyway, she's the, the creator of LPA and she just got married. And her wedding makeup is very interesting. She like brushed up the first nibbles of the hairs and then the rest of the brow was like sleek and I thought that was interesting and now that I've just done that I'm going to consider this a, a grave error and JK will leave it to Pia <laughs> and I'm gonna go back and brush up my hairs as I normally do okay perfect that was fun <laughs> and then for the lips the KKW 1.5 nude liner my new fave y'all my new fave serving that all over and you could totally just leave it like this blend it in take a chapstick and you're good to go i did bring three lips with me on this trip one being the one i've shown most recently this is the nars promiscuous matte velvet lip pencil and all of you this the day i posted that on my story um when i was in palma everyone was like oh my gosh what shade is that what is it and i'm like it's promiscuous i put it right on the story <laughs> anyway so those of you wondering it's promiscuous that's the one that i brought and then i also brought the lisa eldridge velvet morning which i might Hmm, I might dawn. Yeah, why not? Let's do a little bit of a bold lip. Otherwise, I've been wearing the Chanel 202 warm up. But let's do Lisa Eldridge Velvet Morning for a little bit of a, a bold. It's a beautiful, beautiful orange, bright orange red. Uh, I didn't uh, bring my little detail brush again, so I'm just going to take an eyeshadow brush and blend that around, kind of making it more of a stain effect on my lips. And this, my friends, is the finished makeup look paired with my, well, now slept on <laughs> Beach Waves, Heatless Beach Waves hair tutorial, which again, if you guys missed that tutorial, I will link it in the description box down below. But this is the finished makeup look. This is the makeup look paired with a few different lips that I had been wearing while away on this trip. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. What are your favorite uh, go-to products at the moment? Do you guys pick anything up in the Sephora VIP sale? Let me know. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. And other than that, we are headed home tomorrow. Back to regular scheduled programming, y'all. See you, see you on the other side of the pond. See you at home. And I hope you all have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching. Bye!